Hello everybody, this is Fabi from The Next Big Rush and today I came across this. Actually, just a few minutes ago, Bitcoin crashes below $1,000. This is US dollars after SEC rejects ETF. Uh, so uh, the Winklevoss application for a Bitcoin ETF has pretty much uh, failed as far as we can see here because they claim that it, it was really impossible to, to have some sort of, how can I put this nicely and not politically? <laughs> they, they, they couldn't have any control or uh, oversight, that's a better word, oversight into the whole Bitcoin world. You can't really, you know, regulate Bitcoin. It's a free market coin. People buy it and sell it. And, the, you know, that's one of the reasons why it didn't really stick. Now, you see here Bitcoin crashing. It went from a high of 1327 down to 978. And you see this clear drop here, precipitous drop from the SEC decision. Now, uh, what is happening is you have a, a bit of a comparison and this is a zero hedge. You have the price of gold, you have Bitcoin, and then uh, you have exactly as it happened here. Uh, people try to trade in and out of Bitcoin and uh, Coinbase, which is a, a huge uh, sort of marketplace slash many other things for Bitcoin, uh, obviously couldn't take the load of people trying to, to sell their coins. And um, here is the, the actual SEC statement. If uh, you're the type that likes to read boring stuff, then be my guest. But here is what I can sort of draw, what, what conclusion I can draw from this. This is Coindesk and I'm, I'm watching uh, the history of Bitcoin, okay? Uh, if you know anything about me and if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I bought Bitcoin in 2012 for about $4, so some somewhere around here, um, like a Fool, uh, I freaked out. The process of buying Bitcoin was very cumbersome, and um, I only had a, a tiny little bit of nothing money in it. Uh, but then I sold it for like zero profit, and then this happened. <laughs> so really, I lost out on a 325 fold gain. That's not 325 percent, because that I can get in most mining stocks nowadays. I'm talking about a 325 fold gain. So stop for two seconds and do the math on how much money um, I could have made here, but didn't. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Well, I think this is a, a, a strong indicator to see where you are at with the whole gold versus Bitcoin story. And what I mean by this is if you're emotional about Bitcoin going down, if you're cheering for it, if you like it because you're on team gold instead of team Bitcoin, um, I think this is a moment to stop a little bit and, and think what you're trying to accomplish here. I think uh, we have to go back and remember we're in the business of speculating in order to make money. We're not here for our team to win. Now, obviously, uh, because we make investments based on gold, we want gold to ultimately go to, I don't know, $10,000 or more, $5,000 by some people's estimate. It doesn't really matter what your secret number is. What matters is that you make money when it's going up and you make money when it's going down. The whole point is to actually grow your wealth and not, you know, cheer for a, a sports team or anything like this. Uh, and the reason why I say this is because, well, you could have been right on Bitcoin and you could have been right on gold. <laughs> there is no law that says that you can only speculate on gold stocks or you can only speculate on Bitcoin. Now, the other side of this is when is the right time to buy? Is, is it in 2012 when I bought it down here when it was four bucks and nobody even knew what Bitcoin was? Or is it here? when it's at over a thousand dollars and near enough to the price of one ounce of gold. I mean, 
Are you in it because you think that this is going to go uh, 300 fold again? Mm, I don't know, maybe it will, but even if it does, how long is that gonna take? Wouldn't you rather uh, buy some Bitcoin when it's down here? Think about it, it's a no brainer. Wouldn't you like to buy gold when it's down instead of when it's up? I don't know, it's something to think about. So if you're uh, on team Bitcoin or team gold, it really doesn't matter. You just have to ask yourself, what do I want to get out of it? And how am I gonna do it? Because people buying here just don't seem like very smart to me historically speaking. Yeah, I may be proven wrong, but you know what? The easy money was made when all these nerds and suckers bought way back here. These people made money. These people became millionaires with their Bitcoin bets. People buying here are looking at front page news. You don't wanna do that. If you wanna speculate, buy it when it's low. All right, that's my message for today. Don't be too tied up with your uh, politically inclined opinion about gold and Bitcoin. Just find a way to make money when it's going up or down. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe because there's a lot more coming your way.